Hi YouTube, uh, this is another review of the sunscreen called Nivea Sun Super Water Gel SPF 50 PA++++. So three pluses, this is a Japanese sunscreen as well. And the reason I wanted to do a review is because this is another sunscreen that has high SPF and no white cast whatsoever. So I ran out of this fairly quickly. You get, in this bottle, you get 80 grams, 80 mil, mils. Um, I completely ran out, so I don't have a whole lot to show you, but if you can see that, it comes out a little bit yellow. It's a custard yellow color, but the consistency is a lot thinner than a custard. It would be weird if you would have to put that on your face. But yeah, I blended that in and it has no white cast whatsoever. This has only chemical filters in it, so there's no zinc in there. Um, so you do have to reapply it a little bit more often than you would a zinc sunscreen, although you should reapply that too. Um, something I like about this sunscreen is that it has hyaluronic acid and it's fragrance free, so you can you don't have to worry about um, anything that will cause skin irritation. It also does not have avobenzene, which is a UVA filter. Um, so I like that it is very low irritancy product as well as um, it being without white cast. Uh, I got this bottle from Amazon.ca for around $16. I think it's a little bit more expensive than other sunscreen per personally. Um, I would want this to be a little bit more cheaper, uh, but um, otherwise, this is very effective. Um, as I said, it has hyaluronic acid in it, and um, it leaves my skin extremely moisturized. I feel like it goes on well under other sunscreens, so if you were to layer this sunscreen with another sunscreen, say the CeraVe AM, I find it goes really well with that. Um, now, would I wear the sunscreen in the winter now that it's almost October? Um, I would, but I would not wear the sunscreen alone. I would put this on and then layer it with another sunscreen that's a little bit thicker just because um, my, my skin, like most people's skin, tends to get drier as the weather gets cold and dry. Uh, so I... I think that um, this is a great sunscreen, especially for the summer and great for the winter if you're planning on um, using it with other sunscreens. I also wanted to mention that, um, actually I think I covered everything, huh, this time I have a post-it note and I just want to give a special shout out to my girlfriends who gave me feedback on my first video. Um, I have used this on landscape and I've talked about the price um, and I'm trying to make more eye contact with the camera but it's hard. I'm not a YouTuber, I'm just doing this for for the sake of knowledge uh, in order to use sunscreens. Anyway, that's all for today. Bye.